Hello, 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 beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a daily reading. And guess what, guys? It is New Year's Eve. Yes. I hope you guys have an amazing New Year's Eve. Turn up one time. Have fun. I'm going to pour me a little bit of sparkling cider tonight. You know, on my little date or whatever. Um, so, yes, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope your New Year's Eve is amazing. Let's start this new year off right. Let's get them vision boards done. Let's clear out, block, delete, erase anything that does not serve our best and highest good so that we can go into 2021 thinking, being, acting, and speaking positive. I wish nothing but the best for you all. You guys know every reading, I always tell you guys that I'm sending you guys lots of love, light, healing, energy, and abundance. It's genuine. It's real. It's from the heart. I do it even when I don't post it daily. All right? So, I love you guys, and I'm sending you guys lots of love, happiness, healing, energy, abundance. All righty, guys? So, let's hop in. Let me sip my tea real quick. Let's hop in. Let's hop in. Before we hop in, guys, guess what? I got two new decks in, yay. Um, so these will probably be my last two decks for a little while. Okay, I kind of went deck crazy. Um, but the I Can't Make This Shit Up Oracle deck is here. I'll be using it in the reading today. I just want to say thank you guys um, for all the love and the support with all four of my decks, okay? Um, like this deck already sold out. I have another shipment coming in, okay? And then the Time Oracle has been selling really good. You guys have been purchasing this one as well. And then I do have a affirmation oracle deck, but this deck will go to my online course. So I'm going to be releasing an online course on how to heal like money blockages or how to clear financial blockages. Okay. And it's going to come with my um, oracle deck for free. Okay. Then there's going to be an upgrade for you guys to add the money oil if you want to. Damn, I left it downstairs. Wasn't thinking. Um... But the online course is going to be $65. It's going to include the deck for free for the first 250 people that do sign up. Okay? Just letting you guys know. Just giving you guys a heads up. Um, not sure when I'm going to post it. Maybe the next couple days or so. But I'm just giving you guys a heads up because I only have so many decks. And this is like a free gift um, in the online um, with the online course. So it's just affirmations that I say all the time. So I took my affirmations that I use to help me. Okay? Um, so like, for example, it says I'm getting out of my own way when it comes to money. That's something I say daily. I deserve to make more money. Um, my income is increasing daily. I am manifesting my best life. So it's, these are the cards. These are how they look. And then it's like the affirmations on the back. It's 55 cards. This is going to come with the online course. All right. So these are free gift from me to you, um, with the online course. I release all anxiety over money. I am a money magnet. So like I said, these are just all the affirmations that I say daily that are in my office. Like if you guys were to see the board behind me, it's like a big ass green board and it's nothing but like affirmations. It's probably like 200 up there. I actually need to clean the board, clear the board. Um, but it's like I just turn my back wall into like a green wall and it's nothing but affirmations up there. All right. Um, but we'll talk more about that later. All righty. I just wanted to let you guys know though. Okay. But let's hop in. Okay. I can't make this shit up Oracle deck. Let's see what messages are going to come out with this deck today. Um, if you guys do want to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. Or you guys can check the description box below. If I do resonate with you all, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And just before we hop in, I don't want to hear shit, okay? Because the other day, I had to get snappy and rant about um, me putting your on my deck, Okay? The deck is the way it is, guys. If you don't like the messages, exit out. All right? I love you guys, but I don't care about what y'all want me to put on here. Okay? All right. So, let's hop in, y'all. Let's hop in. Let's hop in. All right. Let me see. And these are the cards. These are how they look. Sorry, y'all. These are how they look. This is how they come. And the messages are white with black on the back. Okay, you ain't shit. Okay, who ain't shit, y'all? Who ain't shit? Okay, yes, I lied. Let me explain. So, there's somebody that lied and they want to explain themselves. 
And you're just like, you ain't shit. You're like, I don't have time for this, okay? I feel like you guys may have a talk, but then we have, I'll explain later. But I feel like you don't want to hear from them because it's, we have, you broke my heart, okay? So it's like, they know you're upset. I feel like you may go off. You know, you're like, you ain't shit. You broke my heart. I'm I'm tired. I'm done. I don't have time for it. And they're like, okay, fine. I'll explain later, okay? Um, I would say because it's New Year's Eve, just ignore their ass, okay? Because you don't want to start off the new year on no bullshit, okay? And then we have, I should have been left, okay? So for some of you guys... You're like, I should have been left. I can't trust you, okay? Um, they need more time. I don't know why. But then you feel like, you're like, you wasted my time, okay? So, let's hop in. Let's see. Because to them, it's deception at its finest. You feel like they deceived you to the fullest. All right? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, Spirit of the Universe, today is... New Year's Eve. What's going on with my channel? Give me some messages. What's going on with them overall for today? Okay. So the nerve of you. Okay. Someone to see and notice something. Someone's ex is messy. Okay. Stop calling my phone. Blocked. Red flags. You make me nutty. You wasted my time. Okay. So that's you guys like realizing like, you know what? You're not about to piss me off. You're not going to make me mad. Okay, so we have the nerve of you. We have your ex is messy. Stop calling my phone. Blocked. No. So I feel like, no, you don't want to hear from them. No, you don't want to, you know, deal with the person, the situation. Okay, you're blocking this person. You're like, nope, block. Stop calling my phone. Okay, so you might get a phone call from an ex or maybe the ex is just messy. I feel like someone posted something. Okay, um, we have a lot of cards that came out. So I may not take all of them, but we have, I can't believe you did this to me. You played too many games. I learned my lesson and what part was honest. So we're going to get into this because I want to know what part was honest. I'm going to know what this is about. So let's shuffle up and see what's going on. Okay. Because you're like the nerve of you. Like the nerve of somebody. Somebody's ex is messy. Somebody's upset. Somebody is like, stop calling my phone. You're blocked. Nope. Don't want to talk to you because we have a no all the way down. Okay. So let's see. Messages for the collective. All right, let's see the nerve of you what's going on with the nerve of you like what happened spill the tea spirit spill the tea spill the tea spill the tea, spill the tea. oh and i'm drinking tea lol all right that's my new tea that i'm gonna release very soon i know guys i'm like releasing so much new stuff because i think of stuff every day and i'm like mm, but I like made some tea. Um, this is like my new love tea. It's like a, a love. It's like a soulmate tea, like a love tea. And I had Boo try it out, my little bay that I haven't told you guys about. But um, lol. But um, yeah. So this is like my new tea, and I was testing it out. So we're gonna see before I release it. Okay. So let's see the nerve of you. The nerve of them. The nerve of their ass. Let's see. Let's see. The nerve of them. Let's see. Temperance. The star. Mm. Five of Wands reverse. So they're really trying to kiss your ass, okay? But you're like the nerve of you. You're like, no, I can't, okay? Because temperance with the star is like... There's definitely, a, there's definitely a spiritual connection. This person definitely has feelings for you. They definitely care. They definitely love you. Okay? That's the bad part. That's the fucked up part. Especially when I do the readings. Because it's like, I'll get certain messages and then I'll look into their feelings. And I'm like, damn. But if they really love somebody, like, why would you do them like that? Or why would you treat them like that? Why would you let this happen? Okay? I'm not sure in this situation if it's the ex or not. Because you have your ex is messy. Okay? But this person really is wanting to, like, come out of conflict with you. They don't want to fight with you. They don't want to argue with you. They don't want you to block them. They don't want you to stop calling them. Okay, they don't want you to cut them off and say no, none of that. Okay, because with the temperance card and the star, like you mean a lot to this person. Okay, you like mean a lot to this person, but there's just there's there's a blockage here, and the blockage is the five of wands reverse, and that would be someone in between you guys, or it's just like every time you guys try to come together, work things out, get together, it's always some blockage, it's a delay, it's a setback, it's something, it's always something, something's always wrong, something's always happening, something always is going wrong. So Let's see. What did the ex do? Your ex is messy. 
your ex is messy. Let's see what, what did the ex do? See, we don't have time for the ex and her bullshit. The chariot. For some of you guys, you saw them in the ex's car. Okay? Or they saw you in your ex's car. Okay? Or there's a selfie posted on social media. Or there's a picture of them in a the car. Someone has posted a picture or a selfie. Something like that. You've seen it. You're like, your ex is messy. I thought you guys weren't even dealing with each other. I thought you guys weren't together. How do they have pictures? Why are they posting pictures of line of you guys? Okay? Let's see. The lovers. Yep. Someone posted a selfie and they looked like they were all in love, having a good time, you know, and you're going to find out or you found out. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, I'm hearing that this picture was not taken recently. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. So I'm using my time Oracle deck. This is my time Oracle deck. And I want to see when this picture was taken. For some of you guys, it wasn't taken like as of today, yesterday. Okay. So for some of you guys. The picture was taken this year, okay? It was taken this year. Um, for some of you guys, it, this won't happen to you guys for a week from now, okay? We have next new moon, which is, okay. So, this is what the ex is going to do. This picture was taken sometime this year, okay? You've been focusing on you. You've been doing you. And for some of you guys, out of nowhere, you're going to see this picture. You're going to see this post, okay? Remember, you've been, this says focus on your priorities. You've been focusing on your priorities, doing you. And you're going to see this. And that's when you're going to get upset. Because you're going to be like, okay, well, why are you posting pictures with your ex? Like, I thought you guys were over or the mother of their child or something. This picture was not taken when you see it, okay? So, say, for example, if they post this picture tonight on New Year's Eve, they may not be with that person on New Year's Eve. And you will know. So, you know how they always be like, oh, it's always a pinch and zoom, bitch. Excuse my French. But you're going to have to, like, pinch and zoom into the picture because... You'll be able to, there's something in the picture or there's something about the picture that will let you know that, um, they didn't take that picture recently. But I'm also seeing though, someone helped somebody get a car, gave somebody, um, gave somebody some money for a car or something about a car situation. Okay. That you're going to find out. The car may be in the ex's name or... The ex has helped this person get a car or something like that, too. I don't know. These The messages I've been getting lately have been, like, wild. But there's just a lot going on in that situation. And for some of you guys, that's why they keep going back to the ex or talking to the ex. And it's about the car situation. It's about the car situation or a bill or something that's not fully in their name that they need to get transferred out of. Or someone help them co-sign or do something like that with a car situation or something like that. Okay? That's what I'm also getting. Okay? The per whoever the ex is, she needs to stop wasting her time or he needs to stop wasting her time. The person that you're with doesn't want to be with them, but they feel like they have to deal with them due to some situation that they got in with them, okay? Like I said, it could be like the car situation. It's something like that, okay? Because to see this person's feelings, to see this energy here is telling me like, like if someone feels, have these, has these deep feelings for you, then it has to be more to the story. Let's even pull out the Fire Intuition Oracle deck and see... Like, where their feelings are at. How do they feel? But I feel like at this point, you're just ready to block them and, like, stop calling my phone. You're, like, blocked, delete. Like, stop stop calling my phone. You're messy. Um, I don't have time for this, you know? So, let's see. The nerve of you. Why did this... How does this person truly feel? How does this person truly feel, spirit? When it comes to, the, to my subscribers, how does this person truly feel? We have, I have good intentions, divine feminine, okay? So they feel as if you're the divine feminine, okay? And they, they, to them, they feel like they have good intentions. They feel like they have good intentions, but the ex is as messy as fuck, okay? So let's see. We have divine feminine. You are the divine feminine. But then we have, I have good intentions. So we can't make this shit up, right? Let's see. Do they have good intentions? Does this person have good intentions? I apologize. Okay. Wow. So look, I'm hanging around the wrong people. Okay. So this person is hanging around the wrong people. Who is the wrong person that they're hanging around? The ex. They may still be friends with the ex or maybe their friends 
or maybe they have i'm sorry maybe they have mutual friends with the ex or something like that but all i have to say is that the ex is messy so whatever the ex is posting or whatever the ex is saying it's not true i will tell you guys that it's not true but the situation is it's fucked up because if that's their ex why are they still around them why are they still talking so that's what happens when people get in love or meet, not not get in love but like meet new people like if you're not completely out of someone's life like don't get me wrong like i i have i like me and my exes i haven't ended bad with them but i have kids with them so it's just like we have to get along we have to co-parent we have to be civil okay because my kids are going to be a part of my i mean my kids fathers are going to be a part of my kids life regardless i mean i'm not saying it to like, like oh they better do this but it's like because we get along and we're civil and we have that relationship my kids i'm blessed to say my kids have a relationship with not just me but with their father as well and they were they were both my exes and we both get along but when it comes to setting boundaries as far as the exes and who am I with and stuff, we don't cross that line. They don't question me about who I'm with. I don't question them about who they're with, you know, because if I didn't trust them, then my kids wouldn't be, them, be with them. And I trust both of them to know that if they're if my kids are with them, that they're not going to do something against my will and how I feel or against my feelings and stuff like that. Whoever this person is, they're messy as fuck. They don't care about you. They don't care about the person. They don't care about the person's feelings. They're just messy. They're just like messy. And it's because they want to be with that person and that person doesn't want anything to do with them anymore. So because that person doesn't want to be with them anymore, they just want to be messy and come in between you guys. So this person is, I'm hanging around the wrong people. So they're hanging around the wrong people. They have good intentions towards you or to them they feel like they have good intentions, but their actions are making them come off, come off as very deceptive. Okay. And it says, was it more than sex? Now, for some of you guys, we're going to clarify this because they're apologizing for something. And I do feel like that's why you guys are upset and mad. Maybe they have sex with the person. And you're just like, oh, no. Like, how could you love me and care about me? And you said you weren't wasting your time. You weren't dealing with them. But now it's like, was it more than sex? Like, like what is it? Like, or this can be you guys asking them, like, are we more than sex or was it just sex? So let's see. Um, was it more than sex? Because this person doesn't know what to say. Okay? And so I don't know what to say. So this person just does not know what to say. They're stuck. They're confused. They're like, I don't know what to say about this. All right, so let's see. Was it more than sex? For some of you guys, of course, it's more than sex with temperance in the star there. You can answer that yourself. But you you know that it's just the situation is just fucked up. Let's see. Was it more than sex? Two of pentacles and the nine of swords. That's what you're going to find out. So even though they didn't want to be with you, for some of you guys, they were still dealing with the ex and dealing with you at the same time before they fully cut the ex off. The picture that the ex has in the car or whatever the, the ex posted, it was in the beginning. Now for some of you guys, it was when you guys first met this person, they were dealing with both you guys and then they caught feelings for you and then that's when things change and they cut off the ex or stop dealing with the ex. But because them and the ex are in the same circle of friends or people, it's making the whole situation complicated. All right, so let's see, two of pentacles with the nine of swords in reverse. Was it more than six, let's see. Yeah, look, see, so as soon as you guys start, like, getting serious and having more sex and hanging out, they cut the other person off. So, to them, that's why they feel like they have good intentions. But they're still around the ex for a reason, or, like I said, that ex is still in their circle of friends, stuff like that. Okay? And that's what is the, why the Ten of Wands is there, because that's what, like, that's what's weighing heavy on them. Like, they, they want to tell you, but they haven't told you. They haven't, like, you don't know yet. Or for some of you guys, you're going to find out. For some of you guys, you're going to be upset because you're going to be like, okay, well then, why didn't you tell me that y'all were fucking in the beginning or when we first started talking or, like, why didn't you say that? Why didn't you say, like, me and her were still kicking it or me and him were still kicking it? Like, why did, like, I thought we, you know, could talk about things like that. I don't know. But at this point, you want them to stop calling your phone or someone's going to stop calling the phone. It says, stop calling my phone. Okay, they're apologizing. It says, I apologize, but someone is like, stop calling my phone. Someone's about to be blocked. Okay. So, let's see. The Five of Pentacles. Yeah. You feel you feel played. Like, you just, you're just like, wow. Like, I can't even believe you did that to me. Five of Pentacles is someone feeling left out in the cold. But this person is also feeling left out in the cold by you because they thought if they came in with an apology and tried to explain themselves to you or explain the situation that you'll hear them out. But you're, like, sending them the voicemail. And you're like, stop calling my phone. You're sending them the voicemail. You're upset. I have the five of pentacles here. Queen of pentacles in reverse. Yep. You're like, uh-uh. Nope, stop calling my phone. You're like, I want nothing to do with that. So you're messing around with the mother of your child, your ex-wife, or whoever, because we have the queen of pentacles in reverse. Okay, or the queen of pentacles in reverse can be someone kind of stubborn. She can be stubborn. 
I'm Taurus moon, so I know how I can be. Like, if I'm mad and I'm a Leo with Scorpio rising, so sometimes I know I can be, like, very stubborn sometimes and someone is trying to tell me something or they want me to hear their side of the story. And it's like, and I will admit, like, if I see it a certain way, I, I will see it that way until I see it differently. So I could come off as, like, very stubborn sometimes or not wanting to hear that person out or I'm like, oh, dang, you played me. I can't believe that. But then when I think more into the situation, you know, I kind of drop my stubbornness and, like, okay, I'm going to hear them out. Doesn't mean that I'm going to give that person another chance or let them get away with shit. No, but it's just, like, sometimes you got to hear a person out so you can get the full story. But when the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, she's stubborn. She's mean-spirited. She doesn't want to hear shit. She doesn't want to hear anything you have to say. She feels played. She's, like, all this love and nurturing that I gave to this relationship, all the things I did for you, bought for you. It's, like, that's when you start thinking like that. Like, oh, if it wasn't for me or I did this, I did that, like... The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So you just, for some of you guys, you feel really played. You feel played. Like, you're just like, I can't believe you did that. Okay, you're like, I can't believe you did that. So let's see. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Yeah. The Tower. Yep. So you didn't woke up the whole house. Shit that hit the, shit that hit the fan. Okay? Because, like, when the Tower's here with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse... You're mad. You're upset. And you don't want to have to hear shit they say. Shit that they're going to say. Like for some of you guys, you could even through your phone or through something. You're mad. You're upset. It's the tower with the queen of pentacles in reverse. So you're mad. Like you're really like, nope, sending in a voicemail like, stop calling my phone. Leave me alone. I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't want to do with you. I'm done. It's over. Bye. Boy, bye. Like it's something like that. Like you're like, you're heated. You're mad. But it's like you love this person, but you're mad. Okay, because like it's it's like you know when like you know when you're so mad that you cry mad, but you don't even realize you're crying, but you're crying because you're so mad. That's how I feel like you guys are feeling. You know, it's like it's like the tears just automatically came out because you're just like I can't even believe this. Like you're just like I am pissed. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna find something out. Okay, something's coming to light. You're finding something out, but you're blocking this person too. And for some of you guys that have like iPhones and stuff like that, because we have the tower. Both of you guys are going at each other. Both of you guys are saying things that you don't mean or someone's saying something and then they're going to say something that pisses you off. Yep. And then you're like, okay, well, I'm single. Fuck you. I don't need you anymore. You know, never did because you've got to think the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. So she can be mean spirited. She's saying things that she doesn't mean, but it's true. Okay. Because you're, you're stating facts. You're spinning facts like, oh, I don't need you. I'm like, I got my own shit. I'm single. You know, like, I don't, you know, like, I, I can get someone else, etc. Like, you're spitting facts, but then you're blocking them. So, it's like, they're steadily sending messages, or you're steadily sending messages, and someone's going to instantly block someone. So, it's just like, what was that meme I seen, like, a couple weeks ago? It's like, you know, when you're trying to, like, you're sending someone a message, but it's like, you send them a message, and then it's like, they read it, but you didn't already block them. So, it's like, as soon as you send the message, you block them. So, it's like, they read it, but they can't even respond to you because you blocked them. That's what this is, because you're upset. Okay, and you're like, no, I don't want to talk to you. For some of you guys, are gonna pull up. They're gonna come to your house. They're gonna say something to you. Okay. All right, let's see. Yeah, blocks. Yep, yeah, Ace of Pentacles reverse. You don't want nothing from them. You don't want nothing to do with them. You're confused about the whole situation. Like you just don't understand it. You're just like, why? Okay. Um. You're just like, why? With the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Um, let's see, I have Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you want nothing to do with them. You're being very selfish right now, selfish and stubborn right now, you know. But, I mean, I'm not saying it like, oh, like, don't be that way. But I'm saying, like, the energy that you guys have is, like, very selfish and stubborn. Like, to yourself, you don't want to hear anything they have to say. You don't want anything from them. Like, all plans are canceled. You don't want to talk to them. You want them to stop calling your phone. You're blocking them out. You're like, no, I don't want to have to hear any, I don't want to hear anything from you, so... Um, let's see, six of pentacles in reverse. You have the ten of swords. Okay, you feel like this is ultimate betrayal. You're like, I just can't. All right, and then we have judgment, the judgment card here. But we have judgment with the three of cups. You're like, you're like, you're like, maybe in a few days you'll change your mind or, you know, maybe you're like, okay, like, maybe I might give him a second chance, but right now I'm just mad. So I feel like right now the answer is just no. Like, you're just like, nope, I can't deal with it. I can't do it. I'm not doing this. So I just feel like for some of you guys, what's on your mind and where your mind is at, you're just like, with this and... The messages that we have over here, I can't believe you did this to me. I feel like you're just like, wow, I can't believe you did this shit to me. Like, I can't even believe this happened. I can't even believe that you were messing with the ex at the same time. Or I can't believe the ex posted this. Or I can't believe this because it says, I can't believe you did this to me. Okay, and then we have, you played too many games. And then we have, I learned my lesson. And then we have, what part was honest. But I feel like I learned my lesson was, I feel like this is them. 
I'm even going to clarify because it's like, I don't, it could be you guys. Okay. But I don't feel like this is you. Cause I feel like this person feels salty. They're like, fuck, like I messed, like what, why did I do that? Like someone is like, they, yeah, they, they feel like damn. Okay. So let's see. Um, I learned my lesson. Who is this? I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Clarify, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. Let's see. The Queen of Cups. The Two of Wands. Yep. That was you. That I mean, this is them. And it's towards you. Because, like, they're like, damn. Like, I learned my lesson. Like, I, I messed up. Because, honestly, they don't want the X. They don't want the VM, the BD, whoever. Um, they've already made a decision a long time ago, which is why they feel as if they have good intentions. But it's weird because now this person feels... They feel left out in the cold by you because you won't accept their apology. Um, but it's because you can't believe what they've done. And they play too many games. And you don't know which part was honest or what. So, let's see. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. And again, like, I'm getting it again like I did yesterday. Someone needs to stay off of that shit. I'm serious. Someone got caught up in something. Someone got caught up in some drug activity or someone got caught up in something that they don't normally do. So they're not thinking correctly. And I feel like it has to do with the ex. Like, I don't know if the ex does drugs or I don't know if the ex introduced them to that. I don't know if they only, like, they used to do it together. I don't know. But someone is doing something that they wouldn't normally do or they got themselves into something that they wouldn't normally do. Okay? And they only act like this when they're on that shit. So I don't... Like, so, yeah, someone needs to get off of that shit. Okay? Let's see. I learned my lesson. What is this about? Oh, I didn't even see a card flip out. All right. I'm not a choice or option. See? I told you. And they know that. They know that. They know, like, that's how you feel. They know that you're not with that friends with benefits and you're not going to be a choice or an option. They know that. Okay? And it says we have different love languages. Okay, but that's why this person is kind of feeling left out in the cold by you now because I feel like you like you show them your other side for real or the way you're cutting them off or the way you're saying something to them. They're just like, wow, like I can't even believe it because if you guys have different love languages, it's like, you know, love languages are the way you show and express love. Then their way of showing love may be through gifts. It may be through um, quality time. It may be through. How do I not know the five love languages off the top of my head? But those, you know what I'm saying. So it's like they're going to try to show their love or express their love to you. I also feel like with this apology, that's not something that they're used to doing. I feel like this person has, even though they've done wrong and they've done bad or whatever, they're not really used to like just breaking down like, oh, I apologize. I'm, I'm really sorry. Like, because saying sorry, to me, saying sorry and saying I apologize are two different things. When you say you're sorry, my mom used to always tell me sorry is, sorry does. So if you're sorry, you're going to do it again. When you when you apologize, that means it's genuine. It's from the heart. You're not going to do it again. Or you're going to think about your actions or the consequences that it may, that you may, you know, be in after doing something. So when I was going up, we could, like, if we said I was sorry, my mom was like, okay, well, when you do it again, you're going to regret it. So, like, I mean, but I was not a troubled kid. I wasn't bad. So I didn't ever get in trouble. But, like, just growing up, I remember my mom used to always tell me, a sorry is, a sorry does, meaning you're going to repeat it and do it over and over and over again. So, the fact that this person apologized, it's, like, a big deal to them. But now they feel left out in a cold by you because you don't want to accept their apology and you don't want them to call your phone, you block them, you hung up on them, whatever it may be, okay? Um, and they have a different love language. But, like I said, a long time ago, they made their mind up about you. But they played too many games in the process, Okay? Um, they play way too many games in the process. And you just don't know what part is honest. You don't know what part is honest. Yep, see, it says I'm feeling insecure with the too many games. Yep, and it says I knew your ass was lying. Okay, and they were lying. And you caught them up. And they were lying. And they were feeling insecure. And I also feel like this person is whoever they were with because you guys have different love languages. I feel like the ex is someone that is is more similar similar to them than you are to them and i feel like it was easier it was convenient or it's like oh we are the same person same lifestyle same neighborhood or you know like this person is more like me so i can do this and that like with you i feel like it was totally different you know but this person definitely i don't know what happened like but someone definitely is feeling the final cold by you guys um and you just don't know what part is honest so let's see sorry i didn't mean to be so loud guys let's see what part was honest what part was honest? 
four card was honest. The Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. Oh, wow, I'm the Queen of Swords. <sighs> okay. So the thing is, is that until you guys stop arguing, you're not going to know what part was honest, okay? Because we have the King of Swords with the... We have the Knight of Swords, first of all, with the King of Swords, Queen of Swords. You guys are arguing. And not to say it like this, but when you guys both like kind of shut up and allow the other person to speak or when you allow yourself to hear the person out or whatever, or if they, you know, allow themselves to hear you out, then that's when you're going to know what part was honest and what part was not. But when I see the Knight of Swords here in front of the King and Queen of Swords, look how they're like, your back is turned on the King of Swords. You don't believe anything they say. You don't believe that any part of it was honest. You're like, I don't, it's like, because like, see how the Queen of Swords, she has her hand out. You want to hear from them. You want to talk to them. You want them to tell you the truth. But then it's like with the King of Swords, say, for example, the King of Swords is right in front of me. If the King of Swords is right in front of you and they're trying to tell you something, your hand is out. You're the Queen of Swords. You're sort of, you're, like, uh, you're lying. You're lying. I don't believe you. You're a liar. I don't trust you. You're lying. So it's like, even if they were telling the truth, you wouldn't even believe this person at this point. Because look how your back is turned to the King of Swords. For some of you guys... It's like they're trying to talk to you and you're walking in circles or your back is turned and you're just like, whatever. Like, say if you guys are in the living room or whatever and you're like, turn like this and you're like, whatever. I don't believe you. I don't trust you. You're a liar. I'm not going to say anything. You know when you're mad and you start to grab your mouth like, oh my God, like I cannot believe you're lying right now. And you start to slam your hand on the table or you start to grab something. You know, like me, like when I'm mad, I don't know. I start to clean. So, like, people who, like, my kids are, like, people that really know me, they know when I'm mad. Because, like, if I'm mad and I'm going off, I start to clean shit up. I start to put stuff up, organize stuff. I get to sleep in and all type of stuff. So, they'll know. Like, my kids know when I'm mad. Like, if, if I'm going off or fussing about something and they see me grabbing a broom and sweeping and putting the pans up and cleaning out the dishwasher and stuff, they're like, oh, yeah, mom's mad. You know what I'm saying? So, they know. So, it's like, for some of you guys, you might walk in circles, grab your mouth. You might start cleaning up stuff, picking up stuff, throwing stuff. I don't know. But you, it's like your back is turned to the king of swords and it's going to be another argument or you guys are going to still keep arguing out there. You guys are going to be arguing to the point where you're not going to be able to hear each other out. So you may not know what part is true and what part is not true. But it's like until with this energy here, until you're willing to hear them out, okay, and maybe calm down, then you're not going to know what part is honest. Because right now, how you feel is you're like, I, I can't believe you did this to me. Like, you played too many games. Like, that's all you, right now, that's all that's on your mind. It's like, wow, I can't believe you did this to me. You're like, I can't believe you did this shit. You're like, I just, I, you're like, I can't believe you right now. You're like, I can't believe you did this. But for some of you guys, you don't want to accept their apology. Um... The strength card. And the strength card is you trying to remain calm. It's you also setting your boundaries. It's you also in control. It's you also like, I'm not going to let this person try to, you know, like, you know, tell me what I know is right. So like that, because it's the, it's the strength card. Okay. The strength card is like, you're just trying to be in control of how you feel. But at the same time with that queen and king of swords and the knight of swords, you're not going to be able to control yourself. So this might even be a situation where you're like, um, this might even be a situation where you're like, Said that you're like okay let's talk and you're like it starts off calm but then it ends like what you guys are doing all right um yep see look you didn't cross the line you didn't made her mad yeah the queen of wands she's in reverse okay so you're only going to be calm for so long okay you're only gonna like remain calm for so long you're gonna try to control it you're gonna try to not get upset but you have so much on your mind you have so much you want to say or there's just so much that's going on with, with this situation okay and the truth was exposed and um you you just want all the truth out you're like before i even think about moving forward before this new year start like before anything that you're offering like i want to know the truth you're like i want to know the truth because we have the fool here Okay, and for some of you guys, it's also an energy like I will, I'll be damned to do, I'll be damned to be your fool. You know, like fool me once. What's that thing? Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Something like that. I forget. But you guys know what I'm saying. But you're just like, no, I won't be the fool. You're not gonna play me for the fool. I'm not gonna be a fool for you. Okay, because yeah, look, with the fool, we have the two of swords. Okay, but there's unfinished business between you guys. So even if you're not gonna talk to them today, next week, next month. This is still something that's going to come back around, okay? It's still unfinished. The world is in reverse, okay? You walked away for some of you guys, yes, but there's still some unfinished business here. There's still some, some karmic energy there. There's still some unfinished business here, okay? Um, so, yeah. That's the reading today, guys. 
I love you all. I love you all. Love you all. Let's um, pull a romance angel. Um, if you guys would love to purchase any of my new decks, you guys can do so on my website, mytearsafeelmyheart.com. The links are all below. Um, so let's see the nerve of you. Um, we have no. We have. Um, I have good intentions. So let's see. How do they really feel? Okay, we have. Yep, they did some dumb, stupid shit. We have um, de deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, and we have forgiven and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love. And that's what they've been trying to do, release the past so that they can experience more love with you, but deception got in the way, okay? And it's something that they did with the ex or something that they did with the ex-wife or the BM or the BD or something like that, and it just it got in the way of you guys, and it was a lesson for them. Okay, we have, I learned my lesson, and let's see, give me one more message. Retreat. Yep. And for some of you guys, it had to do with children. Maybe they had children with this person. Or this person was this childish, immature, okay, needed to grow up some. And we have trust issues. Oh, and then we do have new love, okay? For some of you guys, I'm also getting that the um, if they have children with this person, she, she was tripping. Like, oh, I don't, want, I don't want her around my kids. I don't even, like, it, it was something like that. Like, I don't even, I don't know. I just, I'm so blessed to say I have not ever been in that situation. But, like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't, I'm not like that with my kids. Dad. Like I said, like, I trust both of them. To, like, they know better. But it's like, I know that neither one of them would have my kids around somebody that, I know that they wouldn't have my kids around somebody that, you know, wasn't trustworthy or, you know, like, stuff like that. So, I don't know. I don't have that issue. And I'm glad I don't. But I know a lot of people in the collective have that issue. And I know even, you know, the subscribers watching, like, no offense, I know, like, some of you guys still feel that way. You know, because um, it's hard when you have a kid and you still love someone and they move on and then they're in a new relationship and then there's children involved and you don't want them around the children or, you know, the new, if you're the new girlfriend, they, they, they the, the baby mom or the baby dad, they don't like you and all that type of stuff. You know, just a lot of childish behavior, immature behavior, but that's another issue. And that's why the ex was just really, 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 really messy, you know, and it was all because they were coming to see their child. And I feel like that's when it happened. I feel like they went to go see the child and that's when they slipped up or that's when something happened. And then the ex became messy and that's when the ex posted this little picture. Okay, or posted something. Let's see what the deception was. Because like some are, it's like, are they posting something? Like, because they know. And I also feel like they, they're trying to break you guys up or coming between you guys with the retreat card. Okay, because they know that, they know this person likes you because, um... Yep, see, look, I don't know what to say. Deception at its finest. And then we, you ain't shit. So I feel like they went to go see the, the other person. And they're like, wow, you ain't shit. Like, you really want to be with this girl? You really want to move forward with her? Or you really want to move forward with him? So they did something to come in between you guys for some of you guys. Okay? And it was because they were heartbroken. And, of course, low vibrational. Because only a low vibrational person would do something like that. Okay? Like, you have to scoop that low. But then... The person you're dealing with, you can't even blame it on the other person. Because if they gave in to the situation, then both of them were low vibrational at the time. Okay? But it definitely, it, they definitely try to come in between you guys for sure. Because they're jealous over the fact that they have new love. I, yep, see, Ace of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. I knew that just from pulling the Romance Angels. And they told that person that, like, oh, I'm happy. I got new love around me. I'm with someone new. I see a future with this person. They found out about you. They found out that the person that they were dealing with didn't want to do, do anything with them anymore. But for some of them, what they're also feeling is that they feel like... They feel like the per, your person is not going to give in to them and their children and stuff no more. But then for some of you guys, the problem and the issue is, and I have to say it because I see it, you guys met this person... And they do have children and there is drama, but they're doing more for you and your children than they are for their other person. And that also is an issue. And that's why the ex is messy. And I'm, that is, is very messy. You know what I'm saying? Because again, my opinion, if I date a guy and he has children, like he has to be active and show up in his kid's life because that, that has to be like, I don't. I don't do the trauma. I don't do, oh, I ain't seen my kids in 10 years. Then there's something wrong. 
Like, I can't do that. But that's just my opinion. And I'm not judging anybody. I'm not. I never will. You guys know I'm not the judging type. But me personally, Ashley, if I your intuition, like if I date someone, they have to be active fathers in their kid's life. Like, they got to be making child support payments, taking them out, doing something, sending gifts, all of that. Like, I have to see it. Because I'm a full-time mother, I'm in my kid's life, you know, their dad's and is in their life. And it's like, what would I look like dealing with someone that's not active in their kid's life or that does not show up in their kid's life? And that's the that's why the ex is upset and mad for some of you guys. Because they got with you and you guys have kids and they've been over there playing house or just with your kids and stuff like that. And I feel like maybe the ex is like, oh, you can't see your kids and all that type of stuff. But I feel like maybe they're just not trying. I don't know. But when I saw the King of Pentacles in reverse with the Page of Swords, it's letting me know that the person you're with was on some childish shit at one point in time as well. Okay? So, King of Pentacles in reverse, not, they're, they're not being a father. They're not being there financially. They're not being supportive. They're not helping. It can be something like that as well. And the ex got mad. And I feel like they had a little talk and they came over and there was some deception, you know, or the ex got upset or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, and there is you are you will be the new love, you are the new love, yep. And the eight of wands in reverse, two of cups, and yeah, the ex would have tried to come between you guys, all right. So that's the reading for today. Sorry, it had to be crazy, crazy for New Year's Eve, but it's the reading. So I love you all. I hope you guys have an amazing New Year's Eve. I love you all. Happy. New Year's! It's about to be 2021 in some hours. So I love you guys. I'm going to probably post it on the channel later and say Happy New Year's to you all. But if I don't, if I forget, I love you guys. I love you. I love you. I fucking love you guys. 2020 was amazing with you all. Like, we had some fun. Like, the readings, the chats, the everything, the online shop starting this year, everything. All I can say is that I am truly blessed for you all. I love you all. Continue to be dope, amazing, awesome. And let's go into 2021 on some real shit. All right. I'll see you guys in the new year. Bye, loves.